swear in our newest board member. Stand and be acknowledged, okay. Reggie. I have to bring the photographer. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Reggie, I need you to raise your right hand and you are going to repeat after me. I, Reginald Earls. I, Reginald Earls. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. And I will faithfully, faithfully discharge the duties. Of Town of Woodstock Town Board Member. Of Town of Woodstock Town Board Member. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations, Reggie. Thank you, sir. So I need you to sign right here. Short and sweet. Yeah. But it's good. And one more right there. That's just good. Did I put an E on that one? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I have an E in mind. You know what? I don't know what nationality you're from. <laughs> okay. We've got rolling with a few resolutions to warm up. Be it resolved to designate the Woodstock Times as the town's official newspaper. Town notices to be published in the Thursday edition. In Thursday's editions. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be resolved to appoint the town clerk as the person responsible for public and media notices to the, of meetings of the town board and for as, <coughs> as advertisements authorized by the town board. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be resolved to appoint Jackie Early, Registrar of Vital Statistics, Records Management ta Officer, Tax Collector, and Records Access Officer for the year 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be it resolved to authorize tax collector to deposit funds collected in interest bearing accounts. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be it resolved pursuant to section 64 of the town law, town, the Woodstock Town Board designates the Kingston branch of TD Bank North as the depository for funds of the supervisor and the town clerk slash tax collector for the year 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Resolves pursuant to section 64 to town law, Woodstock Town Board designates the Woodstock branch of the Bank of Green County as the depository for funds the Woodstock Town Clerk Court, excuse me, court for the year 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We resolve to impose a charge of $20 for each check returned for insufficient funds. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We resolve to appoint supervisor social services and personnel officer for the year 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We resolve to appoint Carrie Muldoon confidential secretary to the supervisor for the year 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I don't know who got that, Jackie. Oh, it's a tie. <laughs> <laughs> we resolve to appoint Heather Amy confidential secretary to the highway superintendent for the year 2019. Second. Whoa. Oh, so be it resolved, members of this town board and other town officials shall be reimbursed by the town for expenses incurred executing the duties of their office, not including personal expenses, but including expenses for the use of public transportation or personal automobile, for travel out of town, whichever is less costly, unless otherwise approved in advance by the town supervisor personnel. Automobile travel will be reimbursed at a rate of 54.5 cents per mile and be further resolved the meal allowance shall be $30 per day prorated for partial days including gratuities not to exceed 18% but excluding alcoholic beverages. For business in New York City the meal allowance shall be $50 per day. Be a further resolved to authorize the highway superintendent to be reimbursed for expenses to provide beverages and meals not alcoholic beverages, and meals <laughs> to highway department personnel when weather conditions force extended hours of work and be further resolved all expense accounts rendered under the authority of this resolution shall, before being paid, be audited and approved by the town board. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We resolve the Woodstock Town Board shall meet regularly on the second and third Tuesdays of each month. Town offices, 45 Como Drive, another location 
in the town of Woodstock designated in advance by the town board the third Tuesday to be the monthly business meeting. Second. Second. Oh, Reggie can have All it. in favor? Aye. Aye. Now, now, is there some reason we didn't note that it's at 7 o'clock? No, never have before. Okay, all right. But they're still at 7 o'clock. It's still at 7 o'clock. Okay. Be it resolved pursuant to, to, unless otherwise noted. Be it resolved pursuant to section 21, subdivision 10A of town law, the supervisor shall submit to the town board, the town clerk, and the New York State Comptroller within 60 days after the close of the fiscal year a copy of the annual report as required by law. And the town clerk shall publish within 10 days in the official newspaper the facts that such annual report is available for inspection at the town clerk's office. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Here is all pursuant to section 142 of highway law, the highway superintendent, the superintendent of highways shall be authorized to rent equipment at a rate not to exceed $500 per hour for the year 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved to authorize the supervisor to sign extra work order with Cloth Harbor engineers for continued environmental monitoring services at the closed Woodstock Lens fill at a cost not to exceed $8,000. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be it resolved to make the following appointments to the Woodstock Environmental Commission David Gross, term to expire 12 Marty Korn, term to expire 12 and James Hansen term to expire 12 31 20. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We resolve to appoint David Gross, chairperson of the WC for the year 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We resolve to appoint Maria Mendoza to the ZBA term to expire 12 31 23. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No. What was that vote? Four. Did you want to poll? Bill? No, Richard. Mine's an abstain. Okay. Three. So three, one, one. Okay. Be it resolved to appoint Maria Mendoza chair of the ZBA for the year 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No, abstain. Be it resolved to appoint Richard Miller to the Board of Assessment Review, term to I, I have a, a, a procedural question. Um, some say that you, when you need to, some say abstain is appropriate when you have <coughs> a conflict of interest. Um, no, that would be a recusal. That would be a recusal. And, and I guess I wasn't sure if Robert's Rules of Order says that abstaining for no reason is okay. We don't follow Robert's Rules, though, so. Okay, so. Are you saying you want an explanation? Why wouldn't you get an explanation for every yes and every no? Well, I'm not, I didn't ask for an explanation. I was just well, that's saying. Well, that's the same way you asking. Well, no, no, I'm not. We, we, we've got a long agenda, so we'll keep going. Be it resolved to reappoint Richard Miller to the Board of Assessment Review, term to expire 1231. 23. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We resolve to appoint Connor Wank to the planning board, term to expire 12 31 25. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We resolve to appoint John Laval chairperson for the planning board for the year 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolve to make the following appointments to the Commission of Civic Design, David Eckeroth, term to expire 12 31 20. James Dougherty, term to expire 12 31 20. Jeff Harden, term to expire 12 31 20. And Cornelia Rosenblum, term to expire 12 31 20. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, I don't have that on here, but I should make uh, uh, be resolved to appoint David Eckerworth, uh, sure. chairperson of the Civic Design Commission term for the year 2019. Mm -hmm. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 You have that noted, Jackie? Yep. Let me just, I'm sorry. I'm okay. trying to ex remember my experience on the CCD. I thought they selected the Selected chair. their own? I don't, I don't think they do. I think it's I only remember voting for chair. Last, you do? When I was on the committee. So if I've made a goof, yeah, that's no. null and void. Sure. Otherwise, it's, you, you could be right. Well, I, most, chair, most chairs we do appoint, so why would that there, be different? There's one or two. There's there's one one or two I know. thought it was only the, the ethics board, but... Um, I just remember voting for them, so. I know that they all vote for their vice chairs, or? Yeah, I think they were voting for their chair, but I. They, okay. well, is, it, is it listed somewhere, though, that we would be able to? Well, if they go against it, we'll change yeah. <laughs> There's not, not going to be a change, so. Be resolved to appoint Matt Rudikoff to the Ulster County Planning Board term to expire 12 
3121. Second. All in favor? And you notice his name is misspelled. Yes. Question. How do you appoint to the office? Because he represents Woodstock. Each town makes so their. You actually appoint them not as a liaison? No, we, we make the appointment. Each each town makes their appointment to the county. We can actually appoint a, de uh, uh, a designate to a second or alternate. Uh, be it resolved to appoint Richard Hefner, town historian and liaison to the Commission of Civic Design for the year 2019. Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Be it resolved to make the following Have you heard the recuse, Jack? Okay. Be it resolved to to make the following appointments to the Como Stewardship <coughs> Advisory Committee. Tony Diano, term to expire 12-31-20. Jim Hansen, term to expire 12-31-20. Pat Jackson, term to expire 12-31-20. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> we have resolved to appoint Jeff Vignano, chairperson of the Como Stewardship Committee for the year 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We resolve to make the following appointments to the Ethics Board. Paul Washington, term to expire 1231 21. Second. Uh, be, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's tough to beat Lauren. You've got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll give it to you no matter what. Well, <laughs> <laughs> James Togarty, term to expire 12. 12 <laughs> 123120 <laughs> and Allison Dodd term to expire 123121. Rose. All in favor. Aye. Aye. <laughs> and and the last the next one got in there by mistake. They picked their own. Be oh, the ethics. Okay, so be it resolved to make the following appointments to the Woodstock Human Rights Commission. Bonnie Wagner term to expire 12. 3121, Urena Kinlan, term to expire 123121, and Terry Lover, term to expire 123121. Second. Oh, right, Reggie can have it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Type in the next one. Be it resolved to appoint the new <coughs> Curtis Chairperson of the Woodstock Human Rights Commission for the year 2019. Second. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah, two typos in that one. I don't know if you saw them both. What we got one. Be it resolved to make the following appointments for the year 2019. Deputy Superintendents of Highway, Kevin Peters, Deputy Town Clerks, Lynn Shevert and Michelle Shevert, and HIP Officer, Pamela Boyle, Emergency Disaster Relief Coordinator, Chief Fire Chief Kevin Peters, and Dominic Scalarcio, Part-Time Traffic Monitor. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It resolved to appoint Rod Foodafoss attorney for the town at $165 per hour for the year 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> Be it resolved to appoint John Lyon special counsel to the planning board at $150 per hour for the year 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Can I just ask a question about that? Uh -uh. How many hours we're talking there? I mean, is there a limit on the number of hours? We well, have a budget. They have a budget, and they really, they, uh, we have an agreement. I'm just questioning. It, I'm, just, it, they I'm do not a, against it. I just wondered. They do approve <coughs> before they go out to the, the uh, attorney. The other thing that I will say is most of most of his hours, mm -hmm. uh, a number of years ago, we set it up so that um, they collect escrow. Right. So <coughs> they, have, they have a, a legal question about um, the case that Nick has before them. So they go to Nick and say, we have a legal issue. We're going to need in $300 in your escrow account, which then pays the attorney. We still have to set the rate though. Okay. So we, the town actually is on the hook for very little. Okay. And, and then, uh, Good question. Uh, I'm not aware of them using uh, many, very many of his hours. As no. Well. The town hasn't paid for very many hours at all. That's all I was wondering. Yeah. Okay. I, I, it's not an open-ended. <coughs> It's not open-ended. They do have a budget line. It all gets pre-approved, um, as well as uh, dealing with Matthew Rudikoff, which is the next one. Yep. That all gets pre-approved. Very resolved to appoint Matt Rudikoff, planning advisor to the Woodstock Planning Board at a rate of $150 per hour for the year 2019. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And again, this is the same thing. Most of it's you know, all on escrow. <coughs> Resolved to engage the services, this may be different on yours, be it resolved to engage the services of Patterson, Kosky, and Boosie CPA for the purpose of 
assisting the supervisor in preparing the 2019 annual statement in Gatsby 34 format for fee not to exceed uh, 3750. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. So that there's, I think on yours there's a different name in there, right? No, I think I changed did you, that. Did it get changed? Okay. Okay. You guys have the same, right? <coughs> we were using a different firm. They were taken over by this group last year. Be resolved to authorize the supervisor to sign the following agreements for the year 2019. Family of Woodstock for social services. Meals on Wheels for meal delivery to shut-ins. American Legion Post 1026 for coordinating Memorial Day functions honoring veterans of American wars. Stephen S. Davis excavating and septic and Blue Diamond Septic LLC for the year 2019. And be it further resolved to authorize the water wastewater superintendent to engage the services of other responsible <coughs> entities charging the same price if the sudden need arises. Second, but I do have a discussion question. Go ahead. Okay. So family of Woodstock, um, you know, I may want to accuse myself on that. Is this tying, is this tying dollars to family of Woodstock? Yes, we get, we have $4,000 in the budget that we. Okay, okay. So I, e even, even though my relationship with them probably has nothing to do with this money, I prefer to accuse myself for the, if I can recuse myself from one line, it would be family of Woodstock. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 For all but that one line. <laughs> Be resolved to make a donation of $100 to each of the following non-profit organizations. The Catskill Center for Photography, Maverick Concerts, Performing Arts of Woodstock, the Woodstock Artists Association and Museum, the Woodstock Chamber Orchestra, the Woodstock Historical Society, the Woodstock School of Arts, Pan American Dance Foundation, uh, also known as the Woodstock Playhouse, the Woodstock Poetry Society, <coughs> the Woodstock Guilds, the Woodstock Film Festival, Woodstock Volunteers Day, and Ars Corrales. Second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. I recuse. From all, all of them or just from Well, um, both Historical Society is Berkeley, yeah. Guilds. Guilds. Yeah. There's two of them. Okay. Okay, so the... Historical Society and the Woodstock Guild. <coughs> gotcha. Be it resolved January. Do we, do we vote? Yeah, we do. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be it resolved January 20th, 2019, celebration of Martin Luther King Day in the community center shall be a town sponsored event. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> be it resolved that August 17th, 2019, annual Volunteers Day shall be a town sponsored event and be it further resolved to appoint Tamara Cooper, Volunteers Day Coordinator. Second. Oh, Reggie Pinnell. All in favor? Aye. 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 Where is the town supervisor, town clerk, receiver of taxes, and town justice court clerks are required by law to file an undertaking which shall remain in full force and effect until the expiration of their terms of office, the termination of their employment, or the further resolution of this town board? <coughs> and whereas the, the town board determines to be more beneficial and economical to provide the undertakings by a blanket bond, therefore be it resolved all officers and or employees of the town will be bonded in a blanket bond in the amount of $5,000, except the following positions will carry an additional surety bond in the amount of $10,000. Court clerk, town supervisor, tax collector. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be it resolved to schedule a special meeting Pay attention. Town Board for Thursday, January 10th, 2019 at 1 p.m. for the purpose of auditing the Justice Court, Tax Collector, and Town Clerk, and the Town Supervisor. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I've already got it on my calendar. Excellent. And do you know where we're we'll starting? start with the court. We start with That's the court. court. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you can enjoy it. Yeah, you can put a red star by that thing. <laughs> Be it resolved to adopt the attached procurement and investment policy of the town of Woodstock and further, be further resolved the policy shall be entered into these minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be it resolved to adopt the following rules of order for the conduct of town board meetings in the year 2019. The supervisor or the deputy supervisor shall conduct Oh, I thought you were raising your hand. No. <laughs> Conduct the meetings. Public be heard shall occur at the beginning of each regularly scheduled meeting, allowing up to five members of the public to speak to the board for up to two minutes. 
In instances, the town board is polled, it shall be in alphabetical order. I guess I'm going to have to put you guys in alphabetical order. I well, we never polled. Jeremy polled once. <laughs> <coughs> I forget what it was for, but he did. I remember. I've, I've done a few polls to yeah. tenure. Yeah, but I mean in alphabetical order. Yeah, no, no he started. did. It yeah. was done in alphabetical yeah. order. I was thinking they should be caned. It will be a courtesy to the board and public, but not a requirement for resolutions to be posted on the agenda prior to the meeting. Resolutions not posted on the agenda except those amending resolutions on the table should be considered after agenda items have been disposed. Second, I have a question. Okay. Uh, my question is, uh, I know it's also what we've historically done, is that if two board members would like an, a topic on the agenda, it goes on the agenda. I thought we put that in the minutes in previous years. It's never been there, but I, I, I'd make that amendment. No, I, 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 agree. I, thought, I agree with you. Okay. I thought it was in there. Yeah, I, 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 I looked. I don't know where, where it was. Where Jay used to talk about. Or where it went. <coughs> so it, 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 let's add the words that. Um, well, we just to be clear. Let's see. The, well, the supervisor super, sets the hold agenda. Hold on. Okay. Yep. Yeah, the supervisor sets the agenda. Uh, should two uh, or, more. or more council persons request an item to be placed on the agenda, it will be. So, uh, do I have a so, uh, should I second the motion? Second that to the motion. To, yeah, you second. I, yeah. The okay. Amendment. So vote on that. All in favor uh, of aye. the amendment. Aye. aye. All in favor of the rules. Aye. aye. And does Jackie have it all before we move on? Yeah, we've got it. Be <laughs> <laughs> resolved to adopt the attached salary sheet for 2019. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Be resolved to establish the tax <coughs> sheet enumerating the standard work days for the following titles for the purpose of reporting to the New York State and Local Employees Retirement System. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'm the supervisor. I appoint Ken Panza as my liaison to the Ulster County Climate Smart Communities and as uh, supervisor's technology advisor. I'll second that one. That's not a, that's a, no, it's, no. it's no, no. I'll second it anyway. You can't okay. me. Note that, note that, <laughs> Laura, the second. <laughs> Give him a sleep Thank of you. golf balls. <laughs> so I left on there, um, I have talked to some of you about this. I did leave on there the list of uh, liaisons from last year. Um, they're blank. Next month or next Tuesday's meeting should be a pretty light meeting uh, since we've taken care of a lot of business in the last three days. Um, so what I'd like to, what I'm going to put on the agenda to discuss is, is two items. One is the comprehensive plan. A while back I asked each of you to take a look at the plan and come up with your thoughts on how we might move forward in implementing uh, the items in the plan. Um, and you can even rank them as you see fit uh, as far as importance. Um, some of them will require uh, establishing new boards or committees. Others um, might be handled by existing boards and committees. Laura and I, had worked, she, she worked up some thoughts that she had. We sat down the other day and tweaked it a little bit. <coughs> and we'll tweak it again tomorrow or Friday and we'll send that out to you guys. But. Um, so are you talking establishing priorities for the year? Well, well first of all, the, doc, the document. Well, that hold on, let me answer okay. his question. Right. So yeah, that could be that could also be part of the. No, I think it's something that's advisable. I'm yeah. just wondering if that's where we're heading. Yeah, we didn't. Okay. We could we could do that today. We we could do it today, typically, but I, you know mm -hmm. I think we can devote the, the next meeting to that. Yeah. So, if I could just talk. Okay. Okay. So the document that I put together, I, I went by to, from part four because part four of the comp plan is how do we get there from here. <coughs> so is is the is the step by step how we get there. So I laid that out in a table, and then Bill and I were brainstorming who might we assign to things. So the first thing is, and nothing that we put down there is an edict. The, the one thing that I think is very important is that everything in the part four shows up in the, in the action item list somewhere. And so I tried to match together what goes together. And then Bill and I were going through and brainstorming what, what committees. Sometimes we already have a committee. We may just add things to that committee. Sometimes we may, may need to create a committee. But all of that stuff is really our brainstorming. It's really open for discussion about what everybody's opinion is. 
I think it goes without saying that part four equals our task list, but then who we assign it to and the priorities is what I think they'll want to get to on Tuesday. So we were going to meet tomorrow or Friday and go through a session <coughs> one of the skeleton document and pass it out, and then everybody can think what they want to be liaison for and what if they if they have other ideas of who ought to lead things and, and whatnot. I, so I just have a skeleton that I built that is a springboard off of part four mm -hmm. of the document. And so uh, also uh, along those lines, um, you know, there may be committees that would require new uh, liaisons, and we also have these these um, old liaisons. So I'd like each of you to think about. Um, you know what you might uh, want to take care of, and um, we can move on from there. Also, um, I, I'm certainly going to lay out what I'd like to see get accomplished in the following year. Um, I will throw out there that one of the things that that I'm going to start to to work a little bit uh, more diligently on is the renovation of this room, of this building rather. Um, we set up funding for this, a capital project two years ago. Um, and I think it's really, the more time I spend in here, the more time I see how seniors can't get up and down the stairs, the more critical it really, I, I feel it's become that um, I'd really like to be able to add onto this building to bring everybody upstairs down, to have one nice level for our, uh, all our citizens, residents and to improve the envelope of the building, to upgrade the electric, upgrade the insulation, upgrade the windows and doors. So and that's... Air, air conditioning. And the heating system, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Heat, don't, heating don't, and air conditioning. Don't forget Mr. Rose's office. <laughs> well, no, that, no. that's something we can talk about because we're going to have the entire second floor. I don't want an office. People will be able to find me then. <laughs> we could put a, a door at the bottom of the steps with a little, you'd have to buzz them in. How would that be? Be that or market like storage or something? Yeah, market storage. <laughs> but that, that is also along those lines. We will have a second floor here that that we wouldn't be using as a public space necessarily. Yeah, that'd be good. That um, we certainly could use a little bit more storage. Um, I'd also like to see that out of here. Um, oh. Yes. Isn't that lovely, Paul? But we put that. Can you decorate you know, every time for our No, I'm done with it. Um, I think we put that pole there. You did? To hold up the building. Yeah, we cut, I remember cutting a hole in the floor up there and looking at the timbers when they bought the building. Mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure we probably put that pole in there. This may be structural. Well, yes. no, it oh, is. Yes, definitely is. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be sitting there if that pole wasn't there. It is. It is. Um, so anyway, we can talk more about that. So there would be other things we could add to the list of, of priorities outside of the uh, comprehensive plan. So really we're talking about two things. Yeah, we're talking about how we want to move the comp plan forward, but also what each of us wants to try and accomplish this year. Good. I appreciate that. Um, you know, we've got the, the short-term rentals that I hope. Well, that's also part of the comprehensive plan, too. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's things that we've talked about, such as evaluations and those things. Yeah, well, absolutely, because a lot of the comp plan, the scope of the comp plan, a lot of it tends to do <coughs> with and land use and things, and you're absolutely right. So other policies we as a town want to focus on, like a noise ordinance, I mean, we've already got one of that, one of those, but the point is that wouldn't, be, that wouldn't fall under comp plan because that's more about quality of life here. I mean, the, the, the comp plan does focus a lot on, on geographical use and things. So there's certainly a list of things that might not be comp plan that ought to be. I know that you and Laura met with the chief and had some discussions about um, the noise ordinance and, and maybe in January. Well, we'll see where we go with the court. Mm -hmm. the so you, you, you're comfortable in waiting, holding off for a little longer then? I, I think I that's a good idea. Tested, yeah, you know, okay. Then, then we can go from there. Okay. I mean, we've been asked. I know things that tickets have been written. Okay. See so let's goes. see where that goes, and we, we then been, we'll bring it back to the table. Have they been upheld in court? No, they, they've not. They're they're not going we're, we're not there yet, and they won't be. Hmm. Possibly. Oh, no doubt. They don't. How many times has that lady been in our court that was just arrested down the line? <laughs> in Paramus. In Paramus, <laughs> yeah, Terrytown, our <laughs> <first week>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with that, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor?
Hi. 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 These uh, liaisons, these are like lumped together. These are going to be split up. I, I would. That's what we're going to talk about on Tuesday. Right. You know, um, I just I just cut and pasted from plan. last year. Mm -hmm. we, 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 Policy has it though no, that the newest board <laughs> member gets has, the most. It's all of them, yeah. just so that they get a feel. Yeah. And then the fall. So you're just going to be busy for a little bit. Just a little bit. Thank you, Jack. Just Jackie. a little bit. Great to see you, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs>